In this video, I'm going to show you how to write information to a text file um, so that it will show up on your computer and you can save it. Because remember, when your program quits, all the information is gone. It, your program runs in random access memory, which goes away as soon as your program quits or your computer loses power. If you save information to a file, it should stay there as long as your hard drive is not corrupt and you don't delete it. So I'm going to take this program where we had been prompting the user for uh, a number for their age and we'd written out their months uh, to the console so we could see it. But instead now we'd like to write that information to a file. The way you do that is you go to my website and there's a file you need. Under resources it is called Easy Writer. So I'm going to right click on it, select save link as, and then I'm going to put it inside the SRC folder for my project. So let me make sure I'm in the right one. And I am. My workspace is Workspace 2. Inside my project in the SRC, I can now save it. Back in Eclipse, I need to refresh my project again. Or I could hit F5. And now you can see the Easy Writer file. Now to set up the Easy Writer, it's a little bit trickier, and I'm not going to do the print line this time. To set up the Easy Writer, you have to create what's called an Easy Writer object. And so the way you do that is you declare a variable of type Easy Writer, and I'm going to call it uh, FileMaker is my variable name, and then I'm going to assign it to be a new creation, a new Easy Writer. And what I also have to put in there is where I want to save the file. So I have to give it a name. I could also specify where on my computer I like to save it. But for right now, I'm just going to save it into my project. So I'm going to give it a name of months.txt. And hopefully if this works right, when I'm done, the number of months, that's 360 if I type in 30 for my age, should show up in that text file. So we're going to try this. I'm going to do file maker, which is the name of my variable, dot. You can see there's a bunch of options here. We can look at the green ones. Those are the methods. And essentially, I can do what I would do for a system.out. I can print information. So I'm going to do println. And I'm going to pick the integer version because I'm going to print out the months and put a semicolon. And that will hopefully put the number into the file. The last thing I need to do is I need to close the file. And if you forget to close the file, sometimes data won't be written to the file. Um, that's a little bit more advanced than we were going to get into right now, but it has to do with buffering and efficiency of I.O. operations. But just make sure if you write stuff to a text file or any type of file that you close the writer at the end. So let's try this and see if it works. I'm going to run my program. It asks me how old am I. So remember, it's blocking at this line waiting for me to do something. So I'll go ahead and type in my age, which is 30. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's done. The red box is over. That means my program has finished running. And you'll notice this time nothing appeared in the console because I didn't do anything in the console. So I need to check out my project and see if there's a file there. So I'm going to go to my project, hopefully. And I'm going to go to Documents for me. Here's my workspace. There's my project. And you can see that there is now a file there called Months. I'm going to open it up. And you actually can see a little preview here. It's 360. It's a file that only has the number 360. Now you can put whatever you want in that text file. Put lots and lots of information. But now this information is stored on my computer. And as long as I have that text file, I will not lose that information, even if my program stops.